So in today's video, we're going to be looking at these two pairs of knee pads. We're here on the right are the Cali Protective Strikes. And you might have seen these in Seth's video, where he reviewed them about five months ago. And right here are the Chorley Designs knee pads. And these are going to be my dad's knee pads. But I guess we'll see how comfortable both of them are and if they're going to be good while pedaling and going uphill. We'll try them on. So the strikes come in this mesh bag. And you can just undo at the bottom right here. And then it opens up. And you can just pull the knee pads out. They have a pretty soft rubber on the outside and they have a little bit of padding on the inside. And now they don't have any holes in the back for um, your knee. People say that it's pretty breathable and it's uh, and they don't feel it after a long ride. So the top, they have a little Velcro strap to hold it in place. And on the inside, there's a silicone strip so it would just be held against your knee and it would move around. At the bottom, same exact thing with the little strip. There we go. I mean, they feel pretty comfortable. Guess we'll have to see how they are on the bike. Yeah. Now, as you can see on this knee, I have a beautiful scar from not wearing any knee pads and falling on the pavement one time. Yeah, that hurt a lot and it's actually numb. I can't even feel the skin. So hopefully these knee pads will protect me from any of that in the future. Yeah, they feel fine. And yeah, they, they do fit true to size. So the sizing that's on the website is what size you need. Now hopefully I won't have to fall off the bike and actually test these knee pads out. But if I do fall, then they'll be there to protect me. Now let's open up these other knee pads. It's kind of similar, but they have a zipper now. Look at these, these are quite a bit smaller than these. Now these do have a left and a right on them, so you know which ones to put on where. Now these don't have any Velcro here or anything. Now these actually have a hole in the back for your knee to let out any air. But they don't feel that bad. They make weird noise as well. So these knee pads cost $69, while these cost $85. I mean, I guess you kind of get what you pay for. You don't get any creak noise with these. Well, let's go try them on the bike. So today we're here in Camino Ruiz in San Diego, and we're gonna go explore some trails around here and test out these knee pads. But hopefully not actually test them out. That's Dude, these trees are low. Alright, <laughs> Alex. Oh. Alright, here, I'll lead. Screw it. Not for your knees, Alex. This trail looks fun. Hello there, Alex.
That was the shit. That's what it was called. That was the shit. That was nice. That was the, the shit. This eh? is the cobbles. <laughs> Oh, I can see why it's called the cobbles. All right, so the knee pads, they fit me pretty well. But then once I started riding it, they started bunching up in the back a little bit. And they started uh, sliding down and bunching up like right here, like so. Yeah, I mean, these are good knee pads, but they're annoying. So I need to return them, huh? I don't know. Maybe we'll keep them or return them. I don't know. We'll see. I think we should return them. I mean, I kind of like them, but they keep bunching up and stuff, so maybe need I should mine. get the ones like yours. Maybe. All right, let's go. Yeah, let's That's go. it. Put the straps on it.